and so here we are creating a, another method which which has the same name as sound but number of parameters are different here in the initial sound method parameters are zero here we have on one parameters so this will be method overloading between these two sound method because sound method of name method name of the method is same return type of the method is also same so both methods are same but parameters are different here we have zero number of parameters here we have one number of parameters so this will be method overloading so i can print dog name also so if if i don't pass anything then it will call default sound method with, with zero parameters okay and it will uh, and we know this sound method is overriding to parent class sound method so woof dog sound will be printed if i call d dot sound and if i pass the name also tommy then we are calling a sound method with the one parameter so this sound method doesn't have any parameter of this dog class and this dog this dog class sound method this sound method has one parameter name so tommy will be passed in the name woof dog sound Tommy will be printed into the output screen. So this is known as method overloading. So we are overloading this, uh, overloading the methods within the class. So uh, method overloading happens when per number of parameters are different or data type of the parameters is different. Okay, so we can have one more method. Data type of the parameter will be different for this in weight. And suppose I am calling another sound method d dot sound, and here I am passing weight. Weight is 20 kg. So, so for this 20 integer data type, it will go to the sound method. It does. It is not accepting the parameters because we have one parameter. Sound methods should accept one at least one parameter. So then we will come to this sound method. This sound has one parameter, but it is accepting a string kind of parameters. And then we will come to this sound method. It is accepting integer kind of parameters. So weight will be printed. Okay, here I have to put weight. So weight will be printed. So this this is known as method overloading. Method overloading happens within the class, whereas method method overriding happens between the two classes. See, we, this is the sound method of animal class. This is the sound method of dog class and we are overriding animal class sound method with our dog class sound method this is known as overriding and for method overloading either number of parameters should be different see here zero number of parameters here we have one number of parameters one number of parameters either number of parameters should be different or data type of the parameters should be different suppose if we are passing tommy so how we can it can identify which method to invoke so here number of parameters are same one parameter but data type of the parameters are different it is a string type data a string data type parameter it is integer data type parameter so this is known as method overloading for method overloading name of the function should be same data type of the function should be same but number either number of parameters or data type of the parameters should be different let's run this program and see the output initially we have created a uh, object of dog class d d dot sound will print nothing but woof dog class it will print woof dog class see here output works woof dog class is printed woof dog class is printed then we are executing line number 28 we are passing tommy so tommy will be passed here and woof dog sound tommy will be printed tommy we can't pass tommy here because it is only accepting integer type of parameters integer kind of arguments so woof dog sound tommy will be printed see it will go to line number 15 it won't go to line number 19 because it is integer data kind of data type and it is a string kind of data type so line number 15 will be executed woof dog sound tommy will be printed see it is printed and then we are executing line number 29 we are passing integer type of data type so it is a string kind of data type it won't be executed it is uh, integer data type so this method will be executed in the method overloading so woof dog sound weight of the dog will be printed which is 20 we are passing 20 as a weight of the dog see line number 19 executed and and we have printed woof dog sound weight 20 so execution of this program has completed. We have learned about method overriding and method overloading in the Java.